Hello friends, welcome to this video. So today we'll be having some introduction for 5G, like what all things are important in 5G, how 5G came, 5G evolution, and the magic triangle of 5G. So let's start this video. So if you see this evolution, like uh, we have 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. So this is our fifth generation. So if you see uh, there is one thing which is common like every 10 years we have one new technology okay so uh, maybe in around 1980 1g was there then in uh, 2g 1991 uh, 1998 or maybe 2000 you can say 3g was there then 4g the first commercial deployment maybe around 2010 and now uh, 2020 21 you are seeing 5g so in every 10 years you can say one new technology will come so this 5G is just the beginning, uh, uh, like you will see a lot of deployments and a lot of work in 5G which is coming in India. So this 5G course, if you focus well, so this will give you a lot of opportunities and also like for 10 years you can, uh, you can make this 5G technology your bread and butter and you can, uh, whatever you can do, you can learn this. So this will help you a lot. So this this course will give you the platform, the foundation which you can build to develop 5G technology. Okay. So focus on whatever uh, things I'll cover and and then just go through it uh, by your own as well. Okay. So this is the evolution. Like uh, we currently we are in 2021. So 5G. You see, like uh, all the devices are. Uh, will able to talk to each other the speed is maybe around 20 gbps or the spectrum is also 30 gigahertz up to you can use so this is uh, like 5g which uh, which is serving so many things for us so if you see 4g like uh, it is uh, like so many things uh, 4g is also if you see in india like uh, currently 4g we have we don't have uh, 5g like uh, you you have seen maybe like 5g phones are launching but uh, uh, currently we don't have that uh, the network capability the Airtel, Geo or uh, like Vodafone and these uh, companies are working to create 5G network 5G inf infrastructure so that is under uh, testing process like the uh, integration is happening maybe some specific areas they, their trials are ongoing for 5G so if you see like in 5G like most of uh, what they are saying like so many things are solved in 5g and uh, we are able to uh, like enjoy life like anything so this is the just the evolution of 5g so we started with 1g and uh, 2 to the 5g so this is how our evolution happens so this is the magic triangle of uh, 5g like if you see we have three things uh, mainly like embb ur llc and mmtc so first one is extreme mobile broadband here our focus is like for this section is to increase the speed like anything where here you will get 20 gbps in downlink and 10 gbps in uplink so this is speed is like uh, very fast so you can download like in uh, 20 gb per second so that is like uh, too much speed so this this section uh, talks about the mobile broadband like extreme level so th that is one part of the triangle uh, second is like mmtc like massive machine type communication like so many devices are integrating to each other like iot devices nbiot cat m so many uh, different kind of uh, uh, testing and development already ongoing so this is like uh, connections like anything per square kilometer so much of connection like uh, so many small devices are there in your like maybe in your uh, bag or in your like different uh, electronic gadgets and the automobile industry like connected cars and all so many things are happening in this area so this this is like related to machine type communication like different machines are talking to each other and sending the data uh, so that is one part and third part is ultra reliable low latency communication this is like the latency is the speed like how much fast you can do okay so their target 30 millisecond for latency so this is ultra reliable low latency communication so this is the uh, these are the three uh, three main components of 5g magic triangle which uh, 3gpp and so many standard bodies they are working and uh, currently like we are seeing like this is happening uh, in front of us so this is the 5g magic triangle 
so now 5g like 5g means nr like if you have heard like so many uh, so many words like new radio nr uh, you have seen on the internet or somewhere like nr nr people are saying so nr is nothing but a new radio and uh, 5g like if somebody is saying nr that means he is talking about 5g okay so this 5g introduced in release 15 okay 3g pp release 15 so uh, this is uh, released in like uh, phase manner like first is uh, 5g release phase 1 uh, we call it release 15 and 5g phase 2 we call it release 16 okay so 5g introduced in 15 but phase wise uh, release 15 and 16 and 17 18 this way like uh, the 5g starts from release 15 that you have to understand okay so new radio and release 15 this is the main thing for this slide and uh, now in 5g like we have uh, they have divided the frequency range like they have divided fr1 and fr2 okay so two two ranges are there like uh, what uh, they have divided so here like 450 millihertz to 6000 millihertz or 24250 millihertz to 5200 millihertz so fr1 you can say sub 6 gigahertz like you you have heard this term maybe sub 6 gigahertz we we call it fr1 and whereas fr2 is up to from 24 gigahertz to 53 gigahertz we are like so much messy mimo the uh, so much uh, the this frequency is like in the range of 24 to 53 uh, gigahertz so that that's how they have divided this uh, 5g frequency band, bands fr1 and fr2 okay so this is the release wise like if you see like uh, Uh, we started LT with release eight, then nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and uh, release fifteen, five G phase one, release sixteen, five G phase two, then uh, release seventeen also uh, work is ongoing, release eighteen. So that is how like release wise evolution happens. Okay, so currently like uh, release fifteen starts from here. So different kind of uh, additions with respect to previous features we have like like there are some enhancements in. cat m2 or short tti lt v2x v2x is also there in earlier phases as well release 13 and 14 as well but some improvements are there so uav support like your drones and all we call it uav and this 5g phase 1 nsa and sa 5g nr embb so mainly this phase 1 is focusing on embb whatever we discussed in magic triangle so uh, that embb is there so nr support for satellite you can uh, connect with satellite and uh, there there is one system information uh, sib also which gives the information about satellite and all so nr in l license so these are the release within the release 16 is talk uh, will talk about the voice nr voice or uh, nr2 i uh, iot nr v2x nr broad, uh, broadcast positioning uh, power consumption ur llc so here this you are the the second keyword of magic triangle u r l l c is also there mobility mimo nr and lt nr satellite and other lt enhancements so this is how like if you see we are evolving uh, the features as well with respect to uh, release releases whatever 3g pp is releasing so here this is these over our lt okay release then we have lt advance okay so here like uh, carrier aggregation supports came so this is how like we are evolving in release wise as well so i hope you understand this uh, release wise features okay so uh, new new features are adding in every re releases now see the the main focus for this slide is there are uh, five main main chipset companies which we have you have to target these five companies okay so if you if you know like what all chipsets they are releasing what kind of work they are uh, doing and features and also you have to focus on these five companies in in your like you should be updated with these five companies all the time whether it is linkedin or whether it is any any other social media platform you you should follow these companies because that will give you the update like what what all new chipsets are coming with what features what is the difference from lte how new features they are adding so that you need to focus so mediatek qualcomm samsung unisoc and high silicon so high silicon is Uh, this is a product of huawei only so this is a chinese company so uh, these all uh, these five companies you have to focus on okay so 
now we'll see the chipset 5g chipset what what these companies has released okay so this media tag uh, they they have released uh, this uh, 5g millimeter wave and uh, sub 6 gigahertz this 5g soc okay so they have m80 also m70 also this is the 5g uh, chipset range of media tech so you should be aware like what all 5g nr mm wave dual connectivity carrier aggregation carrier aggregation with mixed duplex like tdd and fdd supporting dynamic spectrum sharing ready so peak rate they are giving like 7.67 gbps and 3.76 in uplink and downlink so uh, it supports SA and NSA like standalone mode like complete 5G there is no dependency on LTE and non standalone mode where we have dependency on legacy technology like 5G has to fall back, uh, fall back to LTE. So this is how like uh, this MediaTek uh, 5G chipset uh, features they have. So like 5G MM wave 2, FR2 so FR2 up to 8 component carrier so full 2g to 5g support so in this you have 2g 3g 4g 5g all five te all, all four technology supported in this chipset release 16 is standard so that means it support uh, prior releases uh, up to release 16 it is compliant at least 15 or release 14 they are supporting so true dual 5g dual 5g sim they are supporting dual uh, bo nr voice over nr so this is how like uh, you should know like what all new chipset uh, is coming with these uh, these vendors these chipset vendors okay this is media tech first one second one is qualcomm like qualcomm is working heavily on this 5g and all and they they are the market leaders and they uh, they their chipset is uh, like one of the co costliest in all these uh, other companies so so the uh, Qualcomm is the market leader. So it has like triple eight 5G mobile platform. They have like Snapdragon X62 5G modem RF system. Okay, so they they have 875 5G mobile platform. So they have different uh, uh, range of chipset like 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, IoT, NB-IoT. So they have ample of ranges and they they are working very closely. So you should follow Qualcomm like uh, you, you have to visit the Qualcomm uh, website. It's very helpful. So many things you can learn from that. So I'm just giving you the overview like uh, which section, which companies you have to follow so that you will get better uh, job opportunities. Well, if you if you do this, this will help you a lot in your future. OK, so just update yourself with 5G like anything. So then third one is Unisoc 5G chipset. This is like earlier there is a company called SPRD Spectrum. Maybe if you have heard it uh, and there is uh, one more company RDA. So they merged together and they now call it Unisoc. So they have one chip like Unisoc T770 world first uh, six nanometer EUV 5G chip they are saying. So it support NSA, SA, GSM, WCDMA, LT, so CAT 15 release, 15 GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, Galileo, all these satellites they are supporting. So BT, Bluetooth 5.0 they support. So this is the chipset of Unisoc. So they are not market leaders. They are the actually they, they make phones, uh, chipset for low, low cost uh, devices like uh, maybe you have heard Lava or Micromax. Uh, so they, these companies are using uh, that's how they are releasing the phone a very uh, low price because the chipset quality is also low okay so that's why they use unisoc uh, th this is a chinese company so they have uh, like the cost is very less as compared to qualcomm uh, chipset and this is one more uh, like huawei high silicon 5g chipset so this is kiran kiran is the product of huawei maybe so many people heard about it kiran 990 5g is the uh, like chipset of uh, 5g so it's about uh, like uh, 7 nanometer EU process or like 2g 3g 4g 5g sa and nsa fusion network architecture fdd and tdd spectrum access so it supports all these things same see like every company like maybe if you if you have seen the mobile phone samsung apple oppo vivo they have like similar kind of configurations same way the chipset also like uh, either uh, whether it is from huawei or like samsung or uh, qualcomm or mediatek then uh, the the technology is same right in every chipset it depends like the how they develop it so that and uh, how capable their developers are so that is the only difference okay so this is the high silicon 5g chipset from huawei 
and the, uh, samsung also has a series of 5g chipset like they 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 have zynos if you have heard it uh, in india they launch uh, their uh, phones with zynos chipset in us they launch with qualcomm so this is how they develop uh, like so 2100 zynos is 5g chip so 5 nanometer this 5g nr it supports and 5g nr millimeter wave uh, lte cat 24 so this samsung galaxy s21 ultra samsung galaxy s21 plus samsung galaxy s21 these all supports 5g chipset so uh, samsung is also uh, like uh, they also work a lot in this chipset uh, they uh, they are growing like anything so this is also one one more company so you have to focus on these four five companies with whatever new updates they are coming whatever new releases they are coming up just to give you like uh, in the introduction part like if you do this course what all uh, different prospects will open for you that i am just uh, covering in this uh, 5g introduction section so i think uh, this is for today's uh, lecture so uh, i hope you like this video so meet you in the next video thank thank you